can see right here, this is the source of the fire um, in Wilmet Forest in Oregon, because it's where the highest sulfur dioxide concentration is. It's where it's given up by most fires. If you switch to carbon monoxide, though, you can see the path that it's sort of taken up here. This right here, this is actually the Tri-Cities where we are, those three rivers. If we then switch to particulates, so if you look at the actual particles in the air, you can see the path that it's taken up to where we are right now. And you can kind of see if you go back in time, so I'm going to go back a day at a time, or about a half a day at a time, you can see where we kind of started getting issues. We started overtaking, overtaking. Okay, now this is this, this is now. And then we can kind of predict the future based on this path that it's going to get worse, it's going to get better, it's going to get a little bit better. <laughs> but you can see that it spreads over them the entire, because they're predicting in Oregon that they're going to get a bunch of this, or not Oregon, sorry, Idaho, really shortly. So you can kind of see how it's going to spread and move over in that direction. It's kind of crazy. This is a, and you can see, I think when I did this earlier, it seemed like the worst, our worst day is going to be like the 14th. Um, so in a couple days, but then after that, so you see this is the 14th at noon, we're in a little darker red area, but that it should begin to spread out. You see it's starting to get thinner, so I click there, the number is at 204 on the worst day, which would be 914 at noon, we're about 400, so we're a little higher than that right now actually, 541, this is kind of where we are right now, actually. 76, 329. So let's go back to now. Right now we are actually at about 546. That's where the Tri-Cities is. But if you were like to actually be inside of the fire right now, you'd be at 1800, which is way off of charge. Um, if you guys know, like we're sitting at about, we were at up to like 800 last night, and now we're at five something this morning. Um, anyway. So if you go all the way out to the 15th, it looks like by the 15th, things will start to dissipate enough where we have a hope for some clearing <laughs> to 246. Uh, over in Idaho, it's actually in the 100, so there, and it just keeps going down from there. Now, of course, this is completely based on the fact that we're not going to be adding any more smoke to the atmosphere for new fires or increasing in the fires, but uh, yeah. So to answer Andrew's question, I think by the 15th we should start to see some clearing. Um, I think the weather channel uses the same logic and comes up with the same conclusion. Anyway, there you go. Um, oh, and uh, I'll give you the link to the site in case you're curious and you just want to play around with it. It's a lot of fun. Um, by the way, this sulfur dioxide leads to uh, sulfur. Oh, sorry, wrong line leads to um, acid rain, actually. So a lot of times you can use it as a, as a determiner, like over California, when there's like a lot of pollution, or over China, where there's a lot of potential for acid rain. So look, there's China. <laughs> That's due to pure pollutants. Um, over here where we are right now, though, it's due completely to the burning of forests, because these kind of line up with all the fires that we're dealing with right now. If you take a map of this, I'm finding that they line up pretty closely.